My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb, February. Jake, how you doing? Oh, I bet. Uh, I'm here. 13th? I'm here. Is this Valentine's Day episode, Zach? Uh, day before. Day before. You think I want to know if it was a Valentine's Day episode? Gotta, come on. From the top. My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, this is the Weekly Dumb. It's a day before Valentine's Day. Zach Bullhorn. <laughs> I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, Zach. How are you? I'm doing swell. And the sports? Jim, obviously the big one happened this weekend. John Cena with your Savannah Bananas. We love the Savannah Bananas, and I think we like John Cena, but we really need to address something here, Jim, because this whole video is kind of off-putting. Everything looked weird. And Cena, I'm guessing not a baseball player, so didn't want to swing. And make a fool of himself, so instead opted to make a fool of himself by not swinging. Umpire calls him out. Credit to the party animals pitcher. Cena's going small. Zach hasn't seen. He's basically oh, hasn't like seen. tiny. The party animal pitcher puts him right where they need to be for the strikes. He strikes out, and there's a shot of him charging the mound where he looks... He looks like us. Yeah. John Cena in a baseball uniform. You're expecting like Giancarlo Stanton or something like that. He looks bad the whole time. It's a huge win for I baseball players. I've never seen players. a guy that has a good body look so awkward in a baseball uniform. He charges the mound and he looks like... Peter Dinklage. The whole video is pretty odd. Yeah. Chiefs win. Savannah Bananas, though. They'll have a special guest this July that I'm excited about. Jim, this is almost a breakdown. It actually is near and dear to you. For the celebration, the sport... Uh, Yep. Almost a breakdown. Good setup, Jake. Zach, how many times have you seen the movie Grind? I think zero. Zero for Zach. Hockey player scores a goal, snipes, top left. Water bottle pops off the net, falls down. He picks up the goalie's water bottle, drinks out of it, tosses it back, no look toss, and then just skates straight to the penalty box and says, yeah, I'll take mine. What's the technical penalty here? Stealing water? Well, I guess unsportsmanlike. They have unsportsmanlike, Unsportsman which just means like, like you're being a jerk. Unsportsmanlike yeah. conduct. I tried. I was on a mission right before we to find this kid. It's like Toronto, St. Michael's, Majors versus St. Andrew Christopher's or something like that. We never ask our Canadian followers for shit. But the and websites, we the websites we stopped tracking these teams after like 2006, but it doesn't look old. So if someone find me who this kid is, if Zach, I was, about I was close, I was close. I got pulled off the case. You know what you'll like? A nice little wanted poster. Yeah. Yeah. Put your dick on it. I can do that. Well, more sports. This is big because we're handing out medals, which we're handing out banners in the warehouse. Blitzball battle four starts this week. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Blitzball battle four. This time it's Four. Jim, speaking of, yes. your U.S. Olympic team gets some good news because Zach's Ruski. <laughs> 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 so Russians. <laughs> I, didn't wanna. I rarely have boundaries, but I know you don't like being linked with them anymore. Put your dick on it. You'd be a kind of good Russian spy, though. Which side? Hmm. Both. Jim Camila Vileva. Love her new song. Um, she's blaming her failed drug test due to her grandfather's strawberry dessert. And yeah. the courts don't believe it. That's courts an important aren't buying part of it. Yeah, headline. she's saying that her grandpa made his famous strawberry dessert for her on the same cutting board that he smashed his heart medication. <laughs> <laughs> and the courts are saying, nah. Hey, Grandpa, I do not want. <laughs> Gramps, this, please this, clean the board. This tastes like your medicine again. <laughs> please clean the board before you serve us. You're famous. You're famous, strawberry treats. They said that there was not enough burden of proof to overturn the four-year ban, which means the U.S. figure skating team will receive a gold medal for its 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic performance after the then 15-year-old's Russian Olympic Committee was knocked down to third with the re-ranking of results. USA! <laughs> Play the Cal Naughton Jr. clip. Play it, Zach. Yeah. And we're not going to tell you which one. Oh, no, I'll tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> the one where he says, uh, you may say I won this on technicality, but I'll fucking sock you one. Some, something like that. Try to take this from me right now. <laughs> sock you in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sports. Oh, the not sports is a good one for all of our scientists, enthusiasts, uh, enthusiastic scientists have extracted woolly rhino DNA from hyena poop. 
Yeah. I'm going to read this paragraph for you and you're going to understand it. The fascinating part of reconstructing a European woolly rhino. rhino so you're going to read this whole paragraph. That's what we're looking Ready? for. The fascinating part of reconstructing a European woolly rhinoceros's mitochondrial genome for the first time in history should be the fact that scientists have now, well, reconstructed it. But in this story, the fascinating part is where they found the DNA to do it. Hyena poop. I disagree on two fronts. You don't think that's the fascinating part? I disagree on both. So you have this as not interesting. I have it as interesting that people do this and we act like it's of merit. We're going at scientists again. (laughs) It's what this segment's turned into a lot. I super respect science. Liar. (laughs) (laughs) But like... Uh, These scientists give all the... Good scientists are pretty bad rap. So we're defending science. There's scientists out there that are doing marvelous things that matter. They're creating new DNA out of hyenas and rhinos from 50,000 years ago, whatever they say. Well, when you bring your kid to the zoo in five years and it's petting a woolly rhino... You can thank these freaks. That's not even what's going to happen. They're gonna, there's going to be happen. a plaque with these guys' names on it. And your kid's going to walk right by it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the employee Bye-bye. of the week. That thing. It's the employee. There's options. You have any? Well, it's kind of funny because like Chris Rose interviewed Patrick Mahomes after the Super Bowl. So people that was cool. are like, he should be employee I watched of the that. week. It could also be not Steve. Not Steve. Is that is that a win for everyone else? Do you want to dive into why it's not Steve? <laughs> Steve, our numbers guy, did Super Bowl boxes. A man that's been under controversy before. And he sent out multiple boxes. So I don't maybe there's an image of the Slack feed even in there. But there everyone theories, was like, Are you kidding me? Are there theories? Thank God he didn't win. There are theories that he, God he did didn't his win. numbers get better. I think there was an argument his numbers got better. Because was he in randomize until he liked his boxes and then sending those out? It felt like he was hitting randomize and he didn't know it would send out. Each time. Oh, it auto sent. Maybe. Tough break. Maybe our toughest employee of the week (laughs) recipient (laughs) ever. (laughs) That was a weekly dumb. This was brought to you by Blitzball Battle 4. All the marbles. Check it out on the Warehouse Game Channel. That's you. Everybody was like, wait, why do I have multiple boxes? He won last year. His own boxes. If he won this year, there would be a big problem today. So well, I'm we glad kangaroo, we don't have kangaroo to deal kangaroo with court. that. Full kangaroo court with Christina Connor as the judge. She won. Was the judge in on it? Next time on The Weekly Dumb.